This week, we're talking about Paul going on a trip. And the name of the story is called Safe in a Shipwreck. And it's from Acts 27. So make sure you look that up and follow along with your family. We've been talking about Paul and we've been talking about how he's faithful to tell people about Jesus and how he traveled all over different places all over the world. Well, in this story, he's actually still in jail, kind of. Like, he's still held by Roman uh, officials, and he's um, been guarded by soldiers. And all of these prisoners, all the people that are guarded, have to go on a trip. Have you ever been on a trip? Maybe you've been in an airplane or a long car ride. Well, when Paul was alive, there weren't cars or airplanes or anything like that, but they did have big ships. Ships are just another word for boats. And on these big boats, they would all get hundreds of people on these boats and they would travel if they had to travel for many days. It would still take many days to get to where they were going, but It was faster than walking. And some places were islands where they were land surrounded by water. So the only way to get there was on a boat. So Paul and a bunch of other prisoners were on this ship and they were traveling for many days. And then there started to be big waves. And then there was lightning and rain and storms. And out on the water, that's even scarier than on land. And so all the men that were on the ship with him were so scared and they said, oh no, we're all gonna die, we're all gonna die. There's nothing we can do. The wind and the waves aren't stopping. The rain isn't stopping. There's nothing we can do. But Paul stayed calm. Paul was praying. And an angel of the Lord came to visit Paul as he stayed calm in the storm, as he prayed for the rest of the people because he knew the rest of them were very scared. And the angel came to Paul and he told him, don't worry, I'm gonna protect you. God's gonna protect you. Just tell all the men to not worry any longer. I'm going to protect them. And the angel gave Paul special instructions for everyone to follow so that they could stay safe in this storm. That was an example of Paul loving those people because he was looking out for their best interest. He wasn't just saying, God save me and only me. And then God said, okay, I'll save you. And then everyone else is gone. No, he wanted to make sure that they were all protected. So after the angel left, Paul went out to all the people. He said, don't be afraid. God loves us. Last night, God sent an angel to me to tell me that God will take care of us all. Cheer up, eat so you have strength because I know that God will do everything he says. Well, the winds kept blowing and and the waves kept crashing and it seemed like the storm would never end. And the boat even broke apart into many pieces. But Paul said, don't worry, just grab a hold of a board, grab a hold of a plank to keep you floating. And just then there was an island right there that they all floated to and were safe. And the Bible tells us that not one person was hurt from the shipwreck. Although the ship totally wrecked into pieces and there was no more boat left, every person on the boat was protected. And God was faithful to his word. He promised Paul that they would all be protected. And because Paul loved the people, they all were. So that brings us to this week's scripture. A friend loves at all times from Proverbs 17, 17. So what friend can you love? Even if they're scared right now, even if they're nervous about something going on around them, It doesn't matter. A friend loves at all times. So we can have the opportunity to love our friends right now. So this week we've learned that a friend loves at all times. Just as Paul loved those who were scared with him on the ship and the ship even broke apart during the storm, 
we can love our friends during any storm in their life, during any hurt or challenge they face. Remember to click the link below for this week's coloring sheet. This is what it looks like to be reminded that we can love in the middle of any storm that we may face. Have a great week. Thank you.